brown. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of in a rush because I have to go to my doctor's appointment and after that I want to try because you read in the title I want to try the Rally's chicken sandwich. The moment you have been waiting for, for me. Like compared to the other ones, but see you all at my doctor's appointment and from there I'll try to enjoy the rest of my day, so. It's that, right? Uh, I think it's that. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I, I found it, I found it. Hi, Martha and Alice, what can I get for you today? Hi, can I get the classic Mother Cruncher, the combo? Small, medium, or large? Can I have a medium? Okay, what would you like to drink? A Coke. Okay. Th that's all. I have a talk to you after the window. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, I got my sandwich as I was ordering. So, I ordered the Mother Cruncher combo. So, I just have this is my first time ever trying rallies, but it says also checkers. I don't know if it's called checkers or rallies. Hi, Martha and Alice. What can I get? question mark someone please help me out on that one we also have to ask for ketchup and then they gave me a lot a lot of ketchup which i appreciate and the napkins too we we love that they gave us a bunch of napkins so here's the actual sandwich the moment that i've been waiting for looks kind of flat it smells good not 100% sure. I hope it doesn't have pickles because I don't like pickles. It does have pickles. Am I the only one? I just, the fries. So let's test out the fries. They're good. They're very salty. I think they're very salty. What about the sandwich? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's good. I think it's different from Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. I feel like, oh, I almost dropped the fries. I feel like Chick-fil-A is a little bit more greasier and then Popeyes is a little bit more crunchier. And this I feel like is a combination of both. No one come for me, but it's good. I dig it. I would rate this probably an eight out of 10. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm literally having a sandwich at like 10 a.m. Well, it's almost like 11, but you know. I might as well just catch you up or talk about what is going on in my life. So this semester I'm taking 15 units. I am a junior in college and I'm taking five classes. Each is worth three units. They're not bad, so I'm taking EHD 50 which is probably my hardest class. Taking COM 114, SSCI 110. Why can I think? I'm taking a dance class that is like teaching dance for children because I do want to be a teacher and that was like one of the options of classes that I could take for my major. Oh, IAS 108. And those are the classes that I'm taking this semester. I would say that my EHD 50 class, which is like introduction to teaching, is the hardest one. I've already talked to like some of my friends about it and I think it's just the professor that makes it difficult. I feel like professors are the ones that either like make or break your class. So that's my situation right now. I think that the hardest part about it is that like the workload is just a little insane because we have to watch a bunch of videos and then there's like a bunch of assignments on top of just watching these videos and it's like they're not like oh here's like a two minute video that you need to watch it's like an hour or like half an hour to like an hour and it's just a lot on top of like my other responsibilities and like my other classes I feel like I'm just spending way too much time on just one class so I'm hoping that my professor understands 
because I am doing the work. I just feel like it's not the best work. I'm really hoping he understands. And last week, he is in Texas. I think he still is because last week he didn't. He canceled class. And so we, like, my classmates and I had no idea what we were doing. And so we just basically had to, like, figure it out on our own. And then, like, office hours, he didn't go to his office hours or he canceled his office hours. And then through email, it's really hard to communicate with him. So I don't think he's the worst. I just think that the structure of the class could be a little bit better. And I'm trying not to, like, complain because I know know, we're in the middle of a pandemic still. Can't be like, oh, you know, this and that. But because, like, it's difficult for professors and it's difficult for us as students. So I understand. I just hope I'm just hoping and praying that it gets better because I do want to be a teacher someday. I just don't want to, just because of this one class, I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to be a teacher anymore because, you know, this class was bad or whatever. But so that's, that's me with that class. Uh, What are y'all up to these days? But yeah, this semester has definitely been testing my limits in terms of like the workload. I mean, every semester has its own battles. So this semester has its battles as well. But I'm fortunate that it's mostly just that one class. I think the rest I'll be fine. And I am very fortunate enough that in like each, almost every class that I have, I know someone that can like, that I can study with or we can do homework together and catch up. So I'm really lucky that, you know, there's people out there that are willing to help me. Sometimes I do feel bad, like always bothering them and being like, oh, hey, um, how'd you do this? assignment how'd you do this question how did you format it all those kinds of questions but it really is helpful to have another person that you know in your class to help you with these tough classes I know because in the past I've gotten a long way in my classes because I've had other classmates that have helped me get through those classes so 10 out of 10 recommend having someone like starting like a zoom call with them a group chat messaging them on canvas if you use canvas you know or anything any way that you can try to communicate with them emailing them really really does help god bless i just remembered that i also got a drink if anyone is still actually listening to me talk my final words would be to just keep an open mind about your classes about professors classmates because you truly never know where it will lead you to. Because I know right now I'm struggling and probably in my head complaining. I'm learning a lot of things as well that I can possibly take into my future classroom with my future students. So I need to try my best to be a little bit more positive and just use my resources, talk to other people, vent if I need to. If you guys need to vent and talk to other people, yeah go go and do it because it is helpful and sometimes I do feel alone in my thoughts when I'm like oh I'm the only one that's you know struggling whatever but yeah there's other people that are going through the same thing so it's really helpful to talk to them and get their advice that's what I'm trying to do (laughs) so I can feel good and not drown in all of this work so that's my little piece of advice for anyone that may be feeling like oh my gosh there's so much work right now so Yes, I hope that helped, and I'm pretty much done with my sandwich. I still have some fries, and I thought it was good. I like when food does not make me feel, like, super bloated afterwards. Like, that sandwich, I feel good. Like, I feel full, I feel fine, not super, like, ugh, you know? That's how I would feel after the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Now I have to drive back home and get on with the rest of my day. (laughs) 